Hey everyone and welcome to today's video. So in yesterday's video uh, we were at the pumpkin patch. So today, Vlogtober the 12th, we are carving pumpkins. So we are outside in the front yard and it's sunny so I'm going to grab a hat. But I am super excited to start carving pumpkins. So let's get started. I'm back I've got a hat on so we picked up five pumpkins yesterday at the pumpkin patch and three of them are Sam's and two of them are mine and my two are the little ones so well it was kind of you're gonna carve whichever one you want to carve oh uh, well apparently I'm gonna carve whichever one I want to carve but I picked this one and it had a bigger stem on it but it fell out of the the, the wagon and the stem broke off and I picked this one. So I think I'm going to carve this one. But the first thing I have to do is I need to find the pattern that I want. And we picked up this 20 piece family carving kit at Walmart and it was $7. And it has several different sizes of carving tools plus it has the super goop scoop. So we can coop scoop. coop scoop. I get this really weird reflection. So I'm like, say, if things are, but are. You want me to move you around in the shade? No, I'm okay. I was getting the, I'm getting a reflection from this some way. It's really weird. Um, but this is the super goop scoop. So I have my large mixing bowl here so that we can put all the pumpkin guts in it, because then we'll clean them and roast some pumpkin seeds. It is a beautiful day out here, isn't it, dear? Mm. So Sam's going to actually carve a pumpkin too, I think, aren't you? Yeah, but mine may not be right this minute. So I don't know if you'll actually get to see the process or if you'll just get to see the end result. So I'm going to pick a pattern and let's start carving on a pumpkin. I picked this one. It says foo. And so the next thing I need to do is I need to punch out all of these shaded spots so that we can then pick which pumpkin it goes on. Apparently that's how we're going to do this. We're going to, I pick this and then we're going to pick the pumpkin it goes. nice things about this particular kit is it did come with two markers to be able to trace the pattern onto the pumpkin. So Sam doesn't trust me with sharp objects as we all know that is a bad idea. Well, uh, I do, but I figure I can take care of getting this started for you and so, then let you do all that cutting work. Ooh, I get to play with the things. Okay, so Sam is going to cut out the pumpkin next, so. You want this one? Yep. Okay. We're, I picked, hold on, we're not ready yet. So I'm going to show you him getting the pumpkin ready. <laughs> ah! When you're cutting your, fur, your top, make sure you cut it at about a 45. So when you're cutting your pumpkin top, cut it at a 45 degree angle? Yeah. Okay, why? You know why? Why? Ah! Earthquake. That way, when you set the top back on for your jack-o'-lantern, uh -huh. it sits there. Oh. It has a lip inside. Oh, it doesn't fall out. That makes sense. Any other pumpkin carving tips of knowledge? Never carve with the headless horseman? Oh, yeah, you might lose your head. We did decide to do this outside simply because carving pumpkins can get messy, especially when you start pulling out all the guts. You but, didn't say you were going to kill it. Ah, poor pumpkin. And we are opting not to use lights. We have got some, um, well, we're using, we're using we're not using not candles. candles. We're using some LED lights. And sometimes it takes a few extra little... Well, I know, but it's just all the guts inside. Ooh. Do you need to use the big goop scoop? I may have to use, not the scoop scoop yet, but I may have to use the bigger. And then you cut off some of the pumpkins so all the guts go inside. Ta da! And now when you set it back in there, it just sits right back in. That set. is so smart. We 
Sorry. Okay. Get out your big scoop. Your scoop. And your bowl. Don't forget your bowl. And your bowl. Hold on. Bowl. And it's, it's got a serrated edge on it, which Two. is... Both sides. Oh, cool. Would you like one to get your seeds more? Or one to get your... Some of your meat that you need to still cut out to be able to get your pumpkin a little thinner. Oh. On the inside. Okay. Let me guess. You carve pumpkin, pumpkins by doing that. Uh-huh. Or I paint them. Just look, it pulls it to where your seeds are. Ew, yummy. The the seeds good. All of it's good, including the smell. It smells great. Farm fresh pumpkin. out as possible. Okay. Just because it'll end up being easier when you go to do your carving stuff. And if you have kids, kids can do this part. You can use a scoop or spoon. Oh yeah. Or they can get in there and use their hands. solid <laughs> it's the goopy stuff it's all the goopy stuff inside that makes it rot rots it quicker okay it doesn't necessarily make it rot it rots it quicker okay and it'll still rot over time either way no no i'm sad and then we just have to go through this the bowl later and get all the seeds out well, you can use the other for other stuff, too. Oh? You can use the other to puree it and get, like, your pumpkin mix. Your canned pumpkin. Uh-huh. Normally, that'll come from your smaller pumpkins. Okay. But you can use some of this from the bigger pumpkins. Huh. I did not know that. Hmm. Lots of little... Pumpkins. You know a lot of random things about pumpkins. I also love Halloween. True. True, true, true. Now. I'm cleaning it. You're cleaning it. It's been laying out in the field for how long? A couple of three months as it grew. And outside, it's wiped down well. Okay. 
this is a whole new way for me to carve pumpkins. And we've been married almost 13 years. No, I painted them in the past. You weren't going for that this year. And that's just a clean rag out of the kitchen. Trust me, I was like, you want to clean the pumpkin? I thought he was going to sit there on the inside, on the outside. I would, I just over there. Oh, okay. What are you going to do with the faucet? Rinse out the inside. Okay, he'll be right back. Okay, so Sam has the inside and outside cleaned up. And because of lighting, I couldn't film it well inside. So I'll insert pictures of the inside and outside all cleaned up right here. one of the windiest days in Kansas to try to carve pumpkins because the wind has tried to rip my design twice now and it's succeeded once. So Sam has taken the pumpkin, the tape, and the marker to the side of the house and he is going to take care of taping the pumpkin, taping the pumpkin, taking taping the stencil to the pumpkin as well as he's going to do the tracing for us so that all I have to do is cut it out which I greatly appreciate so we'll be back in just a little bit with a traced pumpkin all right so Sam has brought me back the pumpkin okay from the book multiple times, just make a quick copy of it all and put on your copier. So here it is, Sam went over it a couple times, and now is the part that apparently I get to do. We're gonna cut the pumpkin. Lena's gonna try not to cut herself. Use one of the small ones. Okay, like this one? Yeah, because you're gonna be using, it's a lot of detail work. Okay, so what Sam has told me is to cut along the black lines and I will be good. So I will set up the camera so that you guys can watch. And well, we're gonna cut it up. I'm nervous about this.
a hand workout. Several times you saw me like, <sighs> all right, keep going. So the ink kind of came off on my fingers a little bit, but I mean, it's a pumpkin. It's going to do that. I did end up using um, this bigger tool that's falling on the ground. Um, this bigger one for a majority of the work, but some of the lines were really close together and this is a really big blade. So I opted to grab one of the tiny blades um, to be able to do some of the little bit closer work so that I didn't break the pumpkin. So I will show you what it ended up looking like. I still have to clean the gunk off of the front, but here he is, it says boo. I feel very accomplished because that was an arm workout. All right, so we're gonna clean it up and we will see you back here in a few. Back from the store and he's kind of going over my pumpkin in places where like it got a little narrow inside. You guys all saw me having to flex my hand a little bit. So he's kind of helping me out, getting it all kind of cleaned up so that more light is able to come through. Right? Yep. How'd I do? Not too bad. Especially since most generally you, uh paint them mm -hmm. not bad at all just uh trying to help you're that's fine. i'm not offended so just kind of cleaning it up i did a, a lot of cleanup or just a little uh really just fine points okay well i'm pretty bummed i did a pretty good job then It is several hours later. Um, the pumpkin has been sitting outside. Sam's been working on outdoor decor. And the next thing that I'm going to show you with our pumpkin is it all lit up. But we've got to wait for dark. So we'll see you when it gets just a little bit dark. And here's the final product of my pumpkin. Isn't that cool? It's got an LED flasher in it for carving pumpkins. Thank you so much for watching today's video and we'll see you in tomorrow for the next one.